What's going on everybody? It's your man Cleveland Terry. I'm here with Jeff from Chauvet and uh, we have a very big announcement. When I talked about this before and the last time we were standing pretty much just like this and I said, I love what you guys are doing with ILS. However, I want, I don't want the gig bar every time. Sometimes I have higher end production and I want to use uh, just the control part of the gig bar. He told me no. He said, nothing's ever coming out. Well, guess what? We got it right here. So this is called the uh, ILS, ILS command. command. Yes. So d tell me uh, exactly kind of what the future is for this, what you guys were thinking when you built it. Okay, so again, just, just to take one step back, ILS is integrated lighting system. Yes. This was uh, a technology that we introduced to be able to control lighting for people who did not want to take the time to learn DMX, mm -hmm. didn't have the time to learn DMX. Yeah. The idea is to be able to create synchronized, coordinated light shows mm -hmm. across different fixtures, all talking together without DMX. Right. So it sort of emulates the effects of DMX without being DMX. And it's, 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 it's easy and it's for uh, entry level lighting people right. and even mid level lighting people because it is so convenient. Right. And it's all about fast and easy. Well, and I, and I think that's kind of important because even though you're, we're talking about entry level and mid level, I think most people have dedicated shows that they use every time. Right. You know what I mean? Maybe they're adding one thing here or one, but for the most part, it's the same thing on every show. Right. We took the brain that was in the Gig Bar Move Plus ILS, right. which it still is and talk, still, talk to everybody. still controls the whole ILS universe and ecosystem and we put it into this outboard hardware controller. Mm -hmm. So this thing, as you can see, it's wireless and it's sending wireless signal straight to all of the ILS fixtures on the wall. Right. And as far as customization goes, to answer your question, really what that entails is you're, we're triggering auto programs. We're being able oh, to... We're being able to uh, control which effects are on and which are off, and we can customize presets. So we can set up to six different looks, store them, recall them, yeah. and then the unit will actually scroll through them to create a show oh. all the way up to 20 so minutes long. You don't even have to touch it, it just doesn't fit. It will scroll through it if you want it to, gotcha. or you can just from the touch of a button. So here, if we take everything out, um, right now it's just that's we're seeing strobes from something that's not part of the ILS system. Gotcha. But here you can see everything's dark because right. I've Turned deselected everything. everything. Uh -huh. The customization also comes now. I can select. Maybe I I don't want everything blinking and strobing all at the same time. Right. I want just a color wash. Yes. So what I might do is just trigger the pars, and then I might just have them stay on a solid color. Yes. And just from the touch of a button, I can change from blue to green, to, gotcha. you know. And so, is, is this, is this uh, open to hex or is it RGB? I mean, I would assume any of the... Any, we there are hex colored ILS products. It depends right. on what the products are. Yeah. So, so this isn't controlling that. That's just triggering what's in the fixture. So now, I guess in the normal ILS, the ILS is talking to each other. Yeah. And it's kind of telling it what it is pretty much. I'm right. a moving head, I'm a color wash, you know, right. I'm the gig bar move. If you put a ILS thumb drive into a device, does it know what the device is or is it treating it as almost like just, you know, a static thing and you have to kind of... No, so the, the ILS compatible fixtures, they have the thumb drive on them. When you put the DeFi USB unit into that drive, all, what that's doing is now receiving the signal from either the gig bar move or from the ILS command. Um, it will not work in a non-ILS light. Okay. So uh, it, the ILS signal, mm -hmm. either going from this co this command or from the gig bar, is only going to work with gotcha. ILS compatible fixtures. As far as ILS goes, right. That's not to be confused with, with standard DMX. No. Oh, they all have standard DMX. They all have auto programs. They all have. Is there a DMX out on this? There absolutely is. You can hardwire it right here. Yes. So a little a little DMX survey. But you and I both know hardwire cables are so last century. Man, we got it. Why would we use a cable right. when we don't have to? You know, but uh, so does this have the wireless the DeFi in it also? It, it's it's sending wireless signal right now. Yes. So this is it. this is what's controlling the wall. 
gotcha. not the gig bar. Okay. This is including in controlling everything, including the gig bar. So um, again, uh, and it's got quick quick features. Um, so things like again, if I bring in some color wash here, All right. um, I can quick black out the whole thing just from the touch of a button. Perfect. I've got um, also if I have effects going, if everything's kind of going at the same time. What we see is a lot of movement here. Yes. Maybe there's a moment where I want that movement to stop. Right. I can just hit the freeze button and everything stops. Gotcha. So it kind of gives you a, temporarily, a temporary pause. Uh, it's got a blinder effect, so just from the touch of a button. Uh-huh, yep. I can hit that. A master dimmer, so... Follow spot. So follow spot, what we can do is actually manually select a A point, a B point for the movers. Right. So if the if you have the gig bar or you don't, or you have the uh, Intimidator Spot 160 ILS fixture, okay. you can manually record a spot, right. record another spot. It'll stay right there. And then recall them. So great for like a grand entrance, yes. a door, right. you know, just from the touch of a button. Now so. speaking of moving heads, is there at least the ability to set a box a, a, a movement box, so it doesn't go everywhere. Almost like a totem mode, but if I want to keep it on the dance floor only. Only to the point where you're manually adjusting the pan and tilt axes, okay. or you're recalling that A and B spot that you've set. So we can just say, right there, stay there, and then they just go from it's there. It's important to remember, this is this is the what happens with ILS. Yeah. It's important to remember, it's designed to not use DMX. Right, of course. So it only goes up to a certain level of control, yeah. and then it's got to hand itself over to DMX. Right. So when we're talking about, can I control a box of, mo of yeah. points for a mover? Can I add certain things? No, you're still, okay. you're still triggering yeah. auto programs. Gotcha. You're still, you're just being able to manipulate those auto programs a yeah. little bit more. And to, be, and to be fair, I do want to point out that the auto programs that Chave makes are amazing. The, the Derby, not the Derby, the Gig Bar is some of the best lighting just turning it on. So I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I know what you guys are putting into it, that for most people, it's gonna be enough, you know? It, yeah. So. Yeah, for, for what it's designed for yeah. and the ease of use, even advanced users will find reasons to say, listen, it's like you guys, yeah. you have, multi, you're a multi-op, operation you got lots of guys out in the field yeah you're not going to have time for dmx programming or recreating a lot of gear yeah quick easy in out uh you know no we don't want clown puke movement all night we want some s subtle things for dinner we want some easy nice wash yeah. when the dance floor opens we can go a little bit more crazy right but even then we want some variation this this kind of thing is is great for that yeah. because it really gives you that ability to to have that control. Gotcha. And price-wise, what is this going for? This is, the map on this would be $299. $299, that's really competitive. Yes. Yes, now when is when will this be available? So you'll be seeing this on dealer shelves, uh, probably I would estimate uh, oh, no, late June, early July, probably. Late June, early like July. That. Okay, yep. all right, so, <laughs> Roman guy. Uh, we're gonna test this guy out. So when, when before it comes out, we're gonna be, have it in our hands, we're gonna test it out, see what it looks like. Right off the bat, I will tell you, I am super impressed, and I love that they listen to me. By the way, you guys are welcome. You're we welcome. Did. <laughs> we did. Thanks to him. You have him to, to thank or blame, depending on what your perspective so, is. Yes? Um, will you be expanding ILS to some of the higher-end moving heads? Probably not, and there's a reason for that, because to really get the full functionality out of a of a powerful moving head, um, really DMX is is a is the way to go, because there's so many levels of control. You have prisms and gobos and color wheels and pan and tilt and speed and rotation and things like that. That it really starts to become layers of to to, it, to really get the use out of that tool. Yeah, DMX is is the way to go. Yeah. Um, uh, for something like that. Now, I do not have a crystal ball and I don't have any insight beyond uh, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. what we're talking about here. So anything is possible, 
but um, knowing what ILS is designed for and what some of our higher end products and higher end lighting things require, it probably doesn't make a whole lot of there, sense to go there. There is way. a there is a gap right yeah. now between beginner and professional. There, there needs to be one right there that's like, we know and, you want to do a little more. Upper middle. Yeah, yeah, but nobody does it. It's all the same. It's like program well, it all or and you know that the the, the the gap is not just about lighting knowledge and, right. and being an advanced user or not. It's also about convenience. Yes. So if I'm a lighting designer who's doing high end production, I'm ILS exactly. is not for me. No, no. But if I'm if I quick, easy, yeah. I'm doing gigs and gigs and gigs and I have people out on the on the street yes. doing gigs, even though I'm an advanced lighting user. I need tools yes. that I can give to my people. And be, and be confident about it. Right. Yes. So it's, 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 yes, it's about lighting knowledge, but it's also about convenience gotcha. and versatility. Speaking of convenience and versatility, uh, I, do, I did notice off to the side here, there is a new uh, gig bar case. Oh, did you get enough people complaining about the case? It's about time. <laughs> That's what I can say, yes. We're, we're so glad to be bringing that to, to the world, too. We're going to order we have so many of them. Eight. <laughs> yeah. And we have eight busted pieces. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is, what's the going rate for these? So the... We're buying eight of these. <laughs> I, I, will, I will be speaking out of turn if I tell you the, the price on that because okay. um, it's brand new. Yeah. This is the CHS GBM okay. uh, is, the, is the model number on that case. Uh -huh. But as you said, it fits the Gig Bar 2, the Gig Bar Move, the Gig uh, Bar Move Plus ILS. Right. So uh, all it, of them. It'll yeah. Fit. Okay. It's got inserts for yeah. foot switches and uh, accessories and uh, wheels and a hand and handle, so it can wheel into a venue. So yeah, that's going to be I'm, a hot item too. We're very excited about this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We yes. really excited. are. Yeah. It's already it's in the, my It's the yeah. little oh. thing. <laughs> it's already and the when will this be available? Same thing. It's um, pro probably looking at late mid mid to late june perfect. probably perfect yep. okay well no. we, we got a lot to talk about and some things we can't talk about with you guys on here there's a lot happening in nam this year here in this yeah, booth it's, i it's, can tell you this so i have seen a couple of different things like this makes me happy there's a little um hercules moving platter control have you seen that guy yes i have there's a lot of cool little things yeah. that were for the the beginner that's going to give them something to work off of you yeah, know absolutely and this is this is great so thank you to Jeff from Chauvet. We'll talk soon, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.